So, admittedly this is not the most fantastic video recording technology I have tried, I've, but I'll try and see if I can make this work. We have um, our collector and our lot art collector and um, of course here again I have to be logged in um, and I can do that down in the corner. I can say that I want to be which account I want to use. And I'll be logged in with this OBGIS um, to account. I can create a new account if I wish, but I'll just be using this account here. So we will connect and see what data it has access to. And we can see we have our um, book poster ready to run here. And I'll cho choose my book poster. It will um, say that, oops, you have deactivated your um, GPS. And that's correct because I am not at work at the moment. So um, in order to do the collection, I'll be not using my GPS as my data entry device. So I'll say that's fine. Otherwise, I'll have to add it in. I'll, I'll start my GPS device. Um, so this is now the interface of our collector. We can see we have our same um, template for data entry as we had in ArcMap. So I can choose a different data entry. And I have different options here. This one will enable the GPS so I can use it as a simple um, tracking device. So I could enter data by following along the GPS. That's that GPS symbol there. But, and I can use standard things like pinching um, to zoom in and out, move my device around. Those standard objects you can see I have my demolished building there that I left in. And I can then go in and zoom to a location. I can then choose to create a poster for Studente Roll and I'll place that. And you'll note that um, if I keep my finger depressed I have a magnifying glass if I want to place something exactly on those trees there, I move my magnifying glass so I can see that element. So in the middle of that one I got these and I can let it go there. So I can move my mouse, my element around by just moving my finger, or if I keep it still at a location, it will create this magnifying effect that I can use to place my point at exactly the center of this road cross and then it will be located there. I can choose my attributes, even though I started with the dental road, I can change it to a fit form, and I can choose my legal or illegal, so that's probably illegal there. So that's that, and I can say done. And now it's committing the data to the server, and I'll just place another one, let's say, that there is a poster there, and that's student the role, and they placed a poster, and I'll just depress my mouse or my finger until I get the zoom and the cross, and say that's fine, yeah, yeah. Uh, wonder if I can do that. So now it's there, and I can say that it is a legal place to have that one, and commit the data. If you now look at what has happened on my web server or the service and go in and look at it open and uh, the map viewer and what's the interesting thing is that I now have comes the data those two points that I have added um, from my tablet. So I've added some points. As soon as I said done in my tablet, they were committed to um, the Arc GIS server. And from there, I could then see the update. If I'm now going to demonstrate how to create a building, I'll select an existing building. Luckily, Rook's buildings are nice and square, so they're not too difficult to create. So I'll click on my Data set, find the location there, click again, 
find that corner there, click again, find that corner there, click again, find that corner there. Inside that building there was 42 posters and it's not demolished. And submit the data. And that is the process. Um, a simple and efficient way of doing data collection. Um, there is some add-on as being able to attach um, photographs um, in, um, to, to the elements. A um, final touch on our feature classes that are especially useful if you're going to work with um, data and uh, in the collector application but can also be used outside the collector application is the ability to create attachments to the features in the feature class so we such as pictures so especially if you're using the data collector we can then attach a photograph or a sketch or something to the objects when we register them so if we right click on our feature class and choose manage and then we can do this one that's called create attachments so that basically set create some new tables uh, in the database where we can put attachments on it and we can do the same with our buildings manage create attachments so now these layers have the ability to be um, have attachments in them so once we, once we have created them, we can then put PDF document or whatever into the objects as a text. So they will be as blobs. So if we want to be able to take our collector offline, so go into the field to work offline, we can uh, do a nice way, which is to use the application, or we can watch some of our videos on the internet about how to make offline data available but we'll just do the simple way here so we'll say download and it, we can then choose an area that we want to work with we can only have you can see we can't cover the whole of the area at the moment so we'll just take the part we need so let's say we're going to work with uh, this area to start with as our download area and we choose this area uh, that we want not that, that I wanted this area here and I press download and the application will now download the data to work within that area once the download is completed it has changed to sync so that's what I use if I want to sync data I'll just take my tablet offline so now the tablet is offline I can open my project, I can ignore this but my GPS, I can then go in and create data points as, from, as before and uh, done it and create a new one over here, choose free form and done it so now that I, ha I have entered some points, they are not sent to the server because I'm offline. And if I go back to my overview, we can see here it says synchronization 2. So it has two updates that it needs to synchronize in order to send the data back. So if I reactivate my network, wait for it to connect. So it has now connected to the, my internet and I can then press the SUC and it will now synchronize those data that it has collected with the data on the server.